I'm Brianne St. Germain. I'm a student at the University of Colorado College of Nursing in the Traditional Pathways Program. Um, I'm due to graduate in May of 2018. I knew that healthcare was something I wanted to go into. Uh, graduating high school, I actually had my children really young, so I was 18 when that happened. Um, and I knew that I had to get into something full time, so I actually went the medical assistant route, which was kind of a quick nine month program that got me into healthcare. I figured it'd be like a foot in the door with some stability. I thought I knew what to expect, and then as you get into the program, and it's so time consuming. So it's like trying to just stay on top of the coursework, getting into the program. It's like you don't want to start off bad because then I kind of feel like it sets the, the way of how it's going to, you think it's going to go the rest of the time you're here. So I think my, la my first semester last summer was the most difficult and then, you know, trying to still spend time with my kids during their summer. My daughter actually is the one who really like says something all the time. She tells everybody that I'm going to school to be a doctor and I have to tell her like no, not in med school, like I'm going to be a nurse and explaining to her like the difference but she's so happy like every time she just sees me put on my scrubs and that like the days I have to go to my clinicals like I have to get up so early like I've had clinicals up in Loveland and she is so excited to just get up and like start her day and go to grandma's and knows like mommy's doing this for us. And I think it gives her something to look up to. Like she said that she wants to be a nurse when she grows up. And I feel like, you know, if it wasn't for her saying those type of things, I don't know how motivated I would be. So it definitely contributes to, you know, the motivation and seeing her happy. I'm really involved in, um, the CU Student Nurses Association. I actually hold a position uh, for the finance committee and fundraising. I'm trying to organize different ways for the um, association to raise funds so that we can do things here on campus. Like we just had a nurses week, nursing school, and we were kind of, you know, warned about this going into here that it would be predominantly like white females. And that's exactly what it is. Um, there is a handful, handful of males, which was pretty surprising, um, but as far as like diversity and color, it gets, it's very minimal, which doesn't reflect the communities that as healthcare providers and nurses will be caring for. So I think it's important to include the diversity in the nursing programs to be able to match that of those that we'll be caring for. I mean, everybody has different beliefs, values, you know, stuff like that. So to be able to have a broad spectrum of that in nursing would only benefit the patients even more. Even us as students, like having that interaction with people of color, different, you know, cultures and, you know, different economic statuses, single parents are not, um, different age ranges, all of it I think is beneficial and definitely needed. Culturally people look at me and don't assume that I'm, you know, Native American and Filipino. They just look at me and I think a lot of times just assume that I'm Caucasian, which is fine, but I think for me mostly it's like the single mom thing really sticks out. Um, I've cared for patients and I've worked in a children's hospital where single moms have come in with with children and been super overwhelmed and not knowing what to do and crying and like I can relate to that. I know how it feels to like have to miss work and how financially you know tough that can really be but I definitely feel like my experiences and what I can offer and bring to a patient as far as like my diversity and things that I have experienced are gonna be beneficial to those patients.